What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another installment of Med Advice. My name is Jacob and I am in my last year of med school here at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Now UMKC is one of the few schools left in the country that has an accelerated and combined BAMD program. So now that I'm coming to the end of my medical school journey, I think this is the perfect time to kind of sit back and reflect both on the pros and cons of this pathway into med school so that you guys in high school or anyone interested in potentially pursuing a career in medicine can decide if this pathway is the right one for you as opposed to pursuing the traditional route. But before we jump into the pros and cons of this type of program, it's really important to understand kind of what the BAMD pathway would even mean for you and what your education could potentially look like. So if you have not already seen my video where I give an overview of the combination BAMD programs in comparison to the traditional route, I want you to pause this video right now and go watch that real quick so that when you come back, you'll kind of have a better understanding of what I'm talking about when I go over these pros and cons. It's okay, no, I'll wait. Welcome back. Now that you've watched the overview video, we can kind of continue with the pros and cons of this type of program. Now, these are some that I just came up with kind of off the top of my head. I'm sure there's plenty more on both sides and it certainly depends on your individual situation. So when you're thinking about which pathway to go down when you're interested in pursuing medicine, make sure you make your own pros and cons list unique to you so that you can make the best decision for yourself. Starting with the pros, let's knock out the obvious ones first. Obviously, it's gonna take a lot less time to graduate if you're in a program that is six or seven years as opposed to eight. In addition, even if you're in an eight year combined program, that guarantees your acceptance as long as you meet their requirements. There's no need to uh, graduate from undergrad and then take time off in order to do the MCAT or get more experience or reapply. You're already in. So even if your time in med school is not shortened, there's at least that guarantee for some of those programs that you're gonna be admitted to their medical school as long as you pass their requirement. And of course, for the six or seven year programs, you're gonna graduate soon Sooner, you're gonna be able to start residency and start working sooner and of course when we're talking about a long educational journey like pursuing medicine that extra year or two could be a huge advantage for you later on next on my list of pros is less money it's gonna be cheaper usually to go to one of these programs um, and I'm not necessarily saying tuition because some programs will charge you higher amounts for being in this program so tuition may be about the same but for for my instance I'm graduating two years less than I normally would have which means that's two years less of rent two years less of groceries before I get out into the working world and start earning a salary. So for me, going to this sort of route for med school is gonna be a lot more cost effective than if I took the eight years. Moving on to some of the less obvious but still equally as important pros that I looked at when it was coming time for me to pick my pathway and something that actually really helped me push myself into that direction was the early clinical experience that was offered by my combined program. From the first month or two that we were here, even when we were focusing mostly on just our undergrad classes to get that first degree out of the way, there was a big push to get us into hospitals, working under physicians to get us comfortable in the clinical environment and comfortable dealing and talking with patients, starting to learn the process of what it's like to take a history and working on physical exam skills and medical knowledge. And you have to think if you take the traditional route, that first four years, unless you go out of your way to do shadowing or work as a medical scribe, there is no organizational structure to get you that kind of experience. And you probably Probably won't get a lot of interaction with the clinical side of things or patients until you go into med school unless you're shadowing or doing your own things on the side. Another major plus of going down this route uh, and something that I've noticed as I've gone forward is that you spend more time focusing on what you enjoy. If you're passionate about, enough about pursuing the career of medicine uh, from an early age, 18 years old as a senior in high school, then that's what you want to make your focus. So while, even while we're doing the things like our general education and you know, our basic classes in college, we still have that side of our schooling that focuses on training us to be doctors. And that's what we get really excited about. So it's nice that you get to focus on that so much earlier on instead of that four year degree focusing mostly on just taking classes. And the last major thing that I have on my pros side of the list and something that I think has really helped me along the way is the fact that you mature a lot quicker in these types of programs. Like I said, from the get go, you, in your first two months, you're working under physicians in a hospital with patients and that professional environment is something that you're gonna have to get used to really quickly and there's a certain way you act, of course, when you're, when you're in that sort of setting. So I think if the goal of college and med school 
tool is to mature you and get you ready for the real world, it's definitely very nice to be in this type of program so that that just happens earlier. And like I said, there's probably tons of other pluses to this type of program. Like for example, if you're gonna be with the same people for six or seven years, you're gonna form some inseparable bonds during that time. And obviously you're, gonna, you're not gonna have to move as much if you're in the same location. But you know, I feel like those play less of a role in which pathway you're gonna choose. So moving on to the con side of the list now, let's knock out the obvious ones. Of course, if you're gonna have the same kind of curriculum, the same amount of work condensed into a shorter period of time, that's gonna be more work for you, that's gonna be more stress, and it can certainly be a big adjustment. Um, coming out of high school, not everybody has the best study habits, and people like that four years of undergrad to kind of solidify their study habits, mature a little bit, and make sure they're prepared for the type of environment that med school brings. Going along the same lines of this, if you're gonna have the same or more work condensed into a shorter time period, you're gonna have less free time for yourself. And this by no means says that you have no free time. I had a fantastic experience while I was here. I made tons of friends, I joined Greek life, I enjoyed my college experience, but I certainly didn't get the same experience as some of my friends who went to a state school to get their undergrad degrees. And that's definitely an important note for people who are interested in potentially pursuing down this type of program is that there's gonna be a lot of sacrifices that you need to make in order to achieve your goals of graduating sooner and potentially with less debt. And you know, that's, that brings me to my next point on my cons list is that we didn't have summer breaks. You know, you go to school year round. We maybe get a week and a half uh, before the summer semester, kind of in between spring and summer, and then a week and a half after. But we don't have the long two and a half, three month break because in order to get all of that work done in the six years, we go throughout the summer. So, you know, that's one example of the sacrifices that you're gonna have to make um, when you're committing to this type of program. And, you know, when talking about these sacrifices, I think it's worth mentioning, you know, the next con on my list is kind of a questionable one. It's only a, a bad thing for some people, I would say, but it's the commitment that you make. People like that four years of undergrad because they learn a lot about themselves, they learn a lot about their interests while in college, and they have plenty of time to make that decision. You know, potentially if they don't want to pursue medicine at the end of the day, they have a normal undergrad degree that they can go off and do whatever they want with. However, if you are getting accepted right out of high school, there is that commitment to the six or seven year program that you're going into that it isn't as easy to get out of or change your mind with, especially the farther along you get. Which is why I always say that this type of route is not for everybody. There is absolutely nothing wrong with going through the traditional route, especially if you aren't 100% sure that medicine is what you wanna do. I, for one, have known exactly what I wanted to do since middle school and throughout high school, it's all I could think about. So when the time came to apply for this type of program out of high school, and get automatically accepted into med school for six years, I knew that that's exactly the route that I wanted to take. Which brings me to my last con on the list that I have here, which again is another kind of questionable, controversial one, and that's the reputation of these types of programs. A lot of times, especially ones that are six years, like the one I'm in, people think that because you're younger, that you're gonna be much more immature once you graduate and might not perform as well as a resident or you know, as a future physician. And that's one that I certainly disagree with. Like I said on my pros list, I think you mature significantly faster than others. And by the time you are finished, you're just as mature if you were 26 graduating. I don't necessarily think that two years makes a big difference, but there certainly can be that reputation out there, especially when you're applying for residency, that they might see you as more immature. So for this, it's all about how you carry yourself and how you respond to people when they ask you questions about your program. For me in my residency interviews, I feel like I've had a pretty easy time spinning it to where, you know, it's actually like what I mentioned earlier, where I was more mature and I just knew what I wanted to do early and was more efficient about doing it and was really committed. You know, that's how I spin it when I'm talking to residency programs, which is the truth. But, you know, some some people may have in their mind, especially old time doctors who are very traditional, that the, the traditional pathway is the best way to get through. And like I mentioned earlier, this is by no means an exhaustive list of either pros or cons. There's plenty of others that I'm sure I could think of or other students could think of if we put time in do it. Um, but this is just kind of the, some of the stuff that came off the top of my head that I figured I'd share. If you want to continue learning about my journey as a, a combined BAMD student, make sure you like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more about my overall experience, especially how I got into this type of program. And at the end of the day, was it really worth it? So with that, thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll see you next time.